Hi everybody, my name is Alan Faringer. I'm the program director of Red Barn Academy and I'm here to introduce you to our home. What we're going to do is spend the next four or five minutes showing you Red Barn Academy now and what we want Red Barn Academy to be. Um, let's go inside. When you first come to Red Barn Academy, this is our reception area. Um, this is Cade. Cade Lundgren is um, our first graduate student that has been hired as staff. This right here, if you can turn around and look at this, this is our bench. This is a really important uh, piece of furniture, symbolically and literally. When somebody comes to Red Barn, whether they come from jail or whether they come off the street, if they've been interviewed in jail, they still have to do a second interview. If you walk in off the street, you still have to take a seat on the bench and ask for help. This bench sort of represents the, the portal between our old life outside that door and the new life, which is the building inside here. This is where their new life started. Over here on the other side of our reception room is our wall of hope. This is pretty cool because this is not all, but a lot of the organizations that have helped us build this. We're a 501c3 nonprofit, and we depend on the business community to help us, um, to help us function. So thank you everybody for the help that you've given us. Right in here is our war room, we call it. This is the hub where our business activities are generated from. Um, this is this is Jason and Richard. Richard, there's our moving company clerk. Hey, Say hi, Richard. Hi. How long you been here, Richard? Been here uh, ten months. Where would you be if you weren't here? Probably in prison. Probably, no, not probably. <laughs> How many times you been to prison? Seven. Is this different for you? Oh yeah, it's way better. Super, super exciting. Just a good place to be, man. And this is Jason. Jason is what we call the top of the pop. I'm gonna let Jason, we're giving a tour of the farm. Okay. If you would like to take it from here and show them back in the hub and tell them yeah. what the hub's about, I'd appreciate it. Great. Thanks, folks. Okay. Hi, everybody. I'm Jason. And as you heard, I'm the old guy. <laughs> so, come on through here. I'm just gonna show you a little bit of the hub. This is the, uh, the, the hub of our operation, of course. This is our, our boardroom or conference room. As you can see, if you kind of swing in here, you can kind of see plans for uh, our bunkhouse that we're gonna be building out here. This would be bunkhouse number two, right here. And this is where all the planning and, and it goes into the uh, projects that we do around here. You'll follow me down this way, down through here. This is the room where we all eat together. We pray together in here. This is where we spend all of our uh, connection time with each other in here. And we try to get as much connection time in a day that, that we possibly can. We're out here in the garden. We're actually on the Serenity Trail. This is the trail where every student will eventually make his commitment to live by the promises that we, that we make here uh, to change our lives. Over here, we have uh, what we call our rock wall. This part that's kind of reddish right here was actually started by, by uh, our chairman of the board, Rich Hawes. He started it with Dustin, who of course uh, passed away. And that's, that's why the program exists, is, is in his honor. And since then, we have uh, opted to have every new student that come in here put a little something in this wall. As we cross our bridge right here, this is, this is our stream. All of these rocks have also been placed by the students. Right over here we have, these are our alpacas and our alpaca dog, uh, Rocky. As you can see, there's a couple of students out there. They're very sociable, very sociable animals. So, this is the garden. A couple of months from now, you'll, you'll see this place just come alive. This is one of the life skills that the guys can pick up as soon as they get here. And it's actually, it's, it's one that's really dear to me. We learn how to take care of fruit trees, different plants, what to use for them to, to make them healthy. And this is just something that a, that a man can put together and, and one day take care of his own yard. As you can see, we got the tulips. They're just barely starting to come out, come out of the ground. Taylor Cooperative actually came up and, and helped us plant these tulips. We have 2,000 bulbs in the ground. And each year we'll have uh, quite a few more, actually. They multiply, you'll get about two bulbs or, or three bulbs off of each one that, that flowers. Probably one of the nicest spring flower shows you can see. One more thing that we've started here at the Red Barn is a, a, a relationship with DTC. They're uh, teaching a, a welding course here. As you can see, they brought in their own equipment. Uh, our guys, once a week, get to come out here and literally learn a trade, something that they can take with them after they leave the Red Barn. 
something that they can actually turn into a certification if they want to stay involved with the DTC, which they will probably have a choice to do at the end of their two years. Over here, as you can see, is going to be a detention pond here. It's going to be full of cobble. We're going to have a waterfall right here. This berm and up over this berm will be a, a, a park. This will all be maintained by students of the Red Barn. My name's Cade Longreen. I've been here at Red Barn Academy for, I'm in my third year. Uh, I've recently been hired as staff. You know, this place has changed my life. It's, it's amazing to see the difference uh, uh, in, inside myself. I can now become uh, an actual son, an uncle, a brother, someone that my family and friends can count on. With everything that's going on here at Red Barn, I'm super excited to see the development of our new bunkhouse. I'm, I'm at a place where I can give, give back and help the next man. My name is Justice Tiederman. I've been here in the program for about two years. And, and just within the, the short amount of time that I've been here, I've witnessed some miracles happen. Uh, the, the level of confidence that I feel within myself, the integrity that, I, that I'm developing, and the honesty, I, I can't help but feel free each day is it's a it's a win for me to be here and to to work on this new man that i'm becoming so you just heard from some of our senior students now i'd like to show you bunkhouse number one and hopefully where bunkhouse number two will be where we can house 70 more students okay so here we go into bunkhouse number one this whole this whole building was was donated uh, the, uh, the construction, I, I believe, the architecture, the engineering, uh, I mean, it's just perfect. One more example of, uh, uh, of why we depend on, on, our, uh, on our donors. With the little bit of time that we do have to relax, which I remind you that it is very little. This is the room that we will relax in. Uh, the guys can watch movies at certain times. They can sit in here. So with that, let me show you one of the rooms. So in here we have just one of the, uh, the dormitory rooms where our guys uh, spend their nights. Really the only reason for them to, uh, to be in this room is to sleep. And as you can see, the, every student here is, is required to have their bed tight, well made, and that is in every morning requirement. Let's head out this way, the back of the bunkhouse right here. So, as you can see, down here in the actual ground, in the actual uh, trench for the footings for bunkhouse number two, you actually have Red Barn students that are, that are helping build it. And my name's Derek and I am part of Red Barn Academy. And I'm a student here and I've, I've been here for over a year now. What I tasked out with doing, just as Jason is, is helping shepherd the new guys, I'm tasked out with getting as much of this stuff donated as we can. Our belief system is that every dollar that we can save and we don't have to spend on things like this can go back into getting the next guy out of jail or off of the streets. So if you look at this big pile of concrete right there, our guys actually had that and they got that donated. They reached out to some gravel companies and said, hey, we need 200 yards of gravel. If you look at this big, large equipment here as well, we actually have a general contractor and a gentleman, an excavation company that's donating all of his time and all of his work to help us build this bunkhouse that we have here. And that's where we're hoping that, that some of you guys might be able to come in, is we need all the help that we can get. Um, at the end of the day, this bunkhouse, it, it, you know, it is, it, does, it is a building, but this foundation here, we want you to be a part of this. We plan on building this into something incredible, but we do need your guys' help. And we want you to be part of this foundation. We want you to be part of our family. And at the end of the day, look at someone like myself. Look at somebody like Jason here. You're saving our lives and we appreciate it. Thank you so much. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That's a tour of our home. It may be a little short on technical expertise, but it's long on heart and passion. I'm glad you got to hear from our students and I hope you'll help us build bunkhouse number two. The following links are how you can get in touch with us and offer ways that you may be able to contribute. 
You're welcome to come up and visit us anytime you want. We hope you'll become a part of our family and you'll, we hope that you will help us make room for 70 more students. Thank you for taking this virtual tour and God bless.